But you can only imagine when we when we start the education part of it and the teachers are talking about saving energy dollars in the classroom and now having something like Earth Day here and having them be able to physically see that, you know, being done out uh, as, as some of your demonstrations are today. I think it really, really presents a greater opportunity. And they're at the early age, especially in elementary, the mindset to start saving dollars early, even here and even doing it at home as well. Today's event is Earth Day to try to help show our, uh, our students uh, the impact that the savings we have done will help in the environment, how important electricity is, how dangerous it is. At the same time, show them the future of our new lighting and new vehicles, uh, how they'll, what the future is going to be looking like. Hey, Mickey Hardwick, um, our personnel that helps us be mindful about the energy we use and helps support us in knowing how much energy we're using in our school, um, was able to get with Liz with ADECA and able to um, work out uh, us scheduling um, a decade to come in with um, Alabama Power and Central Alabama Electric Co-op to provide activities for our children to learn a little bit more about um, being energy conscious and they're getting to do some fun activities today and we're so excited that um, our community is supporting our schools in this way to te help us teach the students about being energy aware. We had the opportunity to engage uh, students from uh, K through 10th grade uh, at two different schools. Uh, one was a private school and one was a public school. And the students were able to have hands-on activities. We had different partners that were able to uh, join us uh, being utility providers. But we were able to engage them through the uh, ADECA of Energy Division. We have a bike, an energy bike. And the students really had a good time uh, seeing that because they got to pedal away and uh, see how much of their energy it took and actually see the lights come on and you could see the uh, understanding of how much um, it does take to uh, start an incandescent light bulb compared to an LED or a compact fluorescent light bulb. And so they were able to do that as well as um, see and feel and, uh, the heat coming from the incandescent light bulbs. And so we have that engagement with the students and their um, enjoyment with that. We've been very impressed with so far that what we've done in partnering with ADECA. Uh, so far we're very excited about where it's going and the things that it, it gives us a lot of resources to be able to, uh, I guess to say, show where our savings are. The mission for the energy division is to assist the citizens in saving money through energy efficiency. The changes in the energy policy have been that we're trying to be more conscious about turning off our lights in our school building and making sure that our air units are off as well as lights are off um, when our students leave. We do have an after school program so we do have to have some lights on for their activities. But um, we do try to help, we try to teach our students to um, reduce, reuse and recycle and be very energy conscious. One of the first things we did was to create an energy direct uh, account with Alabama Power which allowed us to take all our accounts and, and put them all into one location. Then we were able to put them in a portfolio manager so we could manage the accounts to see where our highest peak points and which schools could see the most savings, which allowed us to see where the areas of opportunity were. So one of the things that we did was to monitor in the evening times, come by each school to make sure that the air conditioners were cut off, the lighting systems were cut off, uh, and the procedures then on the holiday shut down that we implemented those in the cafeteria as well as in the school. We were amazed at the amount of uh, money that was saved due to us just taking a little bit of time to make sure that our air units are off when we leave the classrooms. Um, and that we, when we turn off the lights, that, that much energy saving has occurred, as well as turning off our technology that we have running pretty much all the time before we leave at the end of the day. We're averaging $22,171 a month savings over the last eight months. So we're roughly about $160,000, which we've taken that money, which has allowed us to, to put LED lighting in the parking lots, LED lighting in some areas where we needed new lights, and uh, the greenhouse here at the elementary school to put the greenhouse in, electricity did. Everyone can learn how to be energy efficient and sometimes it's, it doesn't take a lot to learn it, but sometimes we just have to see it. Anybody that has a light and um, needs to understand how to become more energy efficient, we're here to help them.